this video, I'll show you what an outlier is. I'll also show you how to find it. An outlier is outside the other values in the set. For example, in this set of numbers, 1 is an outlier because it's very low, and 201 is an outlier because it's extremely high. If you have Pinocchio in a class, the length of his nose would be an outlier compared to the others in his class. So let's take a look at an example of finding outliers using the interquartile range. The first step is to order the numbers from smallest to largest. Next we need to find Q1. Q1 is the first quartile. Split your data set right down the middle. You want the same amount of numbers on either side of that middle mark. For this example, I have five numbers either side. We don't need to know the actual number for the medium for this calculation, but we do need to split it down the middle. Because Q1 is the median of the lower set of numbers, that's this set of numbers here. The median of this set of numbers, the number in the middle, is Q1, and that's 14. Q3 is the median of the upper set of numbers. The median of this set of numbers is the number in the middle, and that's 36. We also need the interquartile range. The IQR is Q3 minus Q1, so 36 minus 14 is 22. Next, multiply that result, the IQR, by 1.5. That gives us 22 multiplied by 1.5 equals 33. Next, calculate the upper limit. The upper limit is Q3 plus that number we just calculated, IQR times 1.5. Q3 is 36, IQR times 1.5 is 33, that gives us 69. The lower limit is Q1 minus that IQR times 1.5, Q1 was 14, minus 33 gives us minus 19. The last step is to insert the two numbers we just calculated for our limits into the list of ordered numbers. Anything outside of these limits is an outlier. For this data set, we have one outlier, and that is 70. The Tuki method also uses the interquartile range. It's the same procedure, but the terminology is a little different. For example, the Tuki method uses the concept of fences. We have two formulas, one for the lower fence and one for the higher fence. You can think of these as a boundary that cordons off the outliers from all the other values contained in the bulk of the data. So here's our data set. It's an order from smallest to largest. Split the data into two. In the previous example, we had an even set of numbers. Our line split the set evenly into five numbers each side. This time we have an odd set of numbers. The line goes straight through the center of the middle number, number 9. That's our median. We can ignore that number. So our two halves are actually going to be all of the numbers below the median and all of the numbers above the median. Q1 is the median of the lower half, that's 5. Q3 is the median of the upper half, 18. Q3 minus Q1 gives us the IQR, that's 13. And we do the same thing we did before, multiply the IQR by 1.5. Our lower fence is going to be Q1. That's 5, minus the number we just calculated, that 1.5 times IQR. For the upper fence, we add that 19.5 to Q3, which gives us 37.5. Add those fences to the data. Anything outside the fences is an outlier. For this data set, the only value that's an outlier is 38. If you found the video helpful, 
please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.